Motherfucking one piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oda has uh, done himself completely this chapter. One piece this is over. Chap- it's done. <laughs> talk. One piece. This is the best one piece. Ch- this, no, <laughs> best Shonen Jump chapter of this week. Period. Divine Con- Thunder Thurman. Divine. <laughs> this man. <laughs> Can we put some respect on Kaido's name? Kaido literally, while drunk, took an elephant gun, elephant gatling. Then he went into motherfucking Gear Fourth. Gear Fourth. Gear Fourth. Then he went. He reverted back to human form. Took more blows. Luffy thought he was doing some shit. He was like, oh. <laughs> "Kaido got up, side, got up, to divine." <laughs> Bro, listen. Okay, fucking t- Kaido. Like, he, I, I think my favorite panel is where he just, like, he stands up and he looks disappointed. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like, I'm there. He stands up and he's like, he sucks. <laughs> he's like, huh. You know, and, and again, my headcanon here is I think he took all of those hits on purpose because, as we know, he wants to die. <laughs> you know? So I think he's taking all this shit, like, like almost Saitama style. Like, nope, still didn't affect me. <laughs> Oh my god. You saw a law in hockey. Like, did he do it? Did he do did it? Did he do it? <laughs> he was. <laughs> I'm literally dying. He wa- Okay, we have to talk about the logistics of this man one shotting Luffy. Bro, like, that wasn't, like, it wasn't even. And got up. Got up. Defined the clothesline to that. <laughs> Then this nigga, this nigga was like, "What kind of thing did you say you're gonna be?" Oh yeah, bitch. <laughs> Kaido got up like he was disciplining a child right now. Like Luffy was his, Luffy was his badass child that was acting up in the store. Kaido walked outside for this child and was like clothesline and was like <laughs> bent him over, started whooping his ass. <clears throat> Bro, Luffy is dead. Luffy is dead. <laughs> He's, He's dead. dead. He's dead. Series over. No, so I knew some shit was going to go down because I, I'm subscribed to the Joy Boy server, uh, the Discord server on Joy Boy. And Joy, or someone on the Joy Boy server added everybody and said, all right, everybody, that's a wrap. One piece is over. He's <laughs> like, it was a great ride. Great series. I loved it. It's over. <laughs> Bro, I am dead, man. It's- Look at his eyes. He literally looks dead. Luffy is fuck. I, oh my god! This is the first time I. This is what you. This is this is what you wanted, in Big Mom, man. L- Luffy's food is actually in danger, bro. It's They're not surviving the shit, bro. There's not surviving. Oda gave you what you wanted. I wanted. This is fucking. This is fucking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. Lu- I love you. I love you, Luffy. But, bro. Man, oh okay, so God, okay, travel. one last thing I want to bring up with him one shotting Luffy. When was the last time we saw Luffy get like literally one shot? Like, has this ever happened? The think back, I don't has... like uh, okay, so I don't think Arlong ever did any damage like that to him. Uh, did I know Crocodile like sand hooked him in the desert, but that wasn't a one shot, that was after a while, wasn't it? Yeah, and then like, um. Th- I don't even think, like, the first encounter with Lucci, like, there was never a one-shot, was there? Uh, well, he, they, they one-shot at Luffy. Yeah, there was a one-shot. Well, 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 one-shot? I don't think so. I think uh, I, there was a lot of, uh, like, really? Because, I mean, because they did the same thing with Luffy and Zoro. They sent both Luffy and Zoro flying. But were so, they, but, like, li- weren't they flying into buildings and then stuck? It wasn't like they were passed out, was yeah. it? Yeah. Well, that's true, that's true. So, it depends on what you consider a one-shot, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I mean, Doflamingo I mean, never did even anything close to this amount of damage to him. Um, Katakuri, is... like, like, we saw how much Katakuri had to struggle just to keep... Like, let, let's take this into comparison with the Katakuri fight, right? The whole thing in the Katakuri fight, what was the main thing in that fight? It was Katakuri being like, motherfucker, <clears throat> stay down, right? Mm-hmm. Like, in Katakuri, we know how strong this man is. He couldn't get Luffy to stay down. He was he beat the shit out of him for 12 hours. 
You remember that, right? It was mm-hmm. a day that he beat the fuck out of Luffy, and he still wouldn't stay down. Luffy got a spear hole in his fucking abdomen, like, that probably took out chunks of organs, and he still didn't stay down. And Kaido comes up with one goddamn swing, <laughs> and he's out. Insanity. The logistics of this, when you really start power scaling, is fucking nuts. <laughs> I can't, I can't get over the fact that this man just closed line Luffy, bro, in gear fourth, my mind you. Yeah, immediately Luffy just de gear fourth. I love that it basically just deflates him in midair. Like, <laughs> man, this man fucking gets upside. He walks up, fucking lay down, Luffy. Can All right. this man? Oh, now oh. that we spent the first five minutes. Going about that. Let's okay. So a couple oh details God. I want to go through. Bruh. Okay. Bruh. Kills Tama. No. Yo. Yeah. Let's talk about. So Tama is Tama. only gonna go there. Is this motherfucker dead? <laughs> like. Oda, uh, bro. I think. <laughs> Oda, Oda's going with it, bro. Oda, I don't Oda. know. I mean, there's blood. There is blood coming from that girl. Like hundred percent. But like. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Luffy is falling apart right now. This is exactly what happened on Sabado. This is what I right wanted, now. man. Yes. Like, like, right, okay. When he said the, I should have, damn it, I should have been with her. Hardcore got Sabado vibes. And I'm glad you brought that up. Like, it reminds me of the, I can't protect anyone. You know, like he definitely is having like a fuck, fuck, fuck moment. And like, he was everything I wanted here. Love it. And like, let's talk about this page. Um, page seven, bottom panel. Um, this is straight up epic. Like, do, did you see that fan art that people made where it was Shanks, like, facing off against, uh, Dragon Form Kaido? Oh, no, I didn't, I haven't seen the fan no, art. No, there was that. a fan art going around, because you know how, I don't know if you remember this, back at Marineford, this is, by the way, heavy power scaling on Shanks, like, whoa, Shanks. Back in Marineford, I don't know if you remember this, but Kaido was coming to Marineford to fuck shit up, and it was said that, uh, Shanks delayed his crew and stopped him. You remember? Mm-hmm. Which means that Shanks is able to stop this fucking thing. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Right. So yeah, there was a fan art actually that looked a lot like this bottom panel on page seven with Luffy facing off against the dragon. But imagine it was like Shanks. It was really cool. Did you send it? What? I will send it. Uh, I don't know if you want. I'm gonna send it during the video, but I will send it after the video. Um, All right. But yeah, no law at this point. He's like, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So so he, he gets DBZ lasered yet again, which is insanity. No, did you notice, too, when Luffy jumped up, he actually took the time to save speed as well, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, as always, being being cool, Luffy. But, like, let's just go through the amount of attacks. So first we get an elephant Gatling just pummeling the dragon form of Kaido here all the way until he falls down. Then, of course, he comes down in gear fourth, and then, basically, Kong Organ is Gatling again, but the Gear 4th version of it. So he goes hardcore. One of the most powerful techniques. The only thing that could have been more powerful is if he did King Kong Gun, but that would have split the fucking land in half. Um, he probably should have tried it, honestly. But yeah, he goes Kong Organ, pummels the fuck out of him, and then, of course, we get to what we've been fanboying about for fucking pages here, the one-shot. So really, that's the entirety of the chapter is... And I like that Oda, Oda took the time to have Luffy go all out. This hardcore reminded me of when they fought the um, the pacifista. They all went as hard as they could and got fucked. And I love shit like that. I love that Oda didn't... I like that Oda actually had him going to gear fourth. It wasn't just him pussying out or, or like doing like, you know, oh, we'll go gear third and that's it. No. Luffy was like trying to take him out here, clearly, and he just couldn't. So, thoughts? Oof, man. Can't believe, like, it's the way everything... Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's just like Luffy, bro. I f- I feel Luffy struggle right now, bro. Like he doesn't know if his crew is dead or alive. Tama is fucking dead. We don't know, but she probably is. Fucking, fucking. Uh, then when he's like, fuck it, my only chance is to beat this fucker now. Trying so hard, you can look at the the, the desperation in this man's eye. I know. <laughs> Because, I mean, he doesn't know if his crew, too. Like, his crew is, like, like, you know, he doesn't know if his crew is dead or alive. He doesn't know if Tom is dead or alive. I love the amount of desperation that Oda has put into this chapter. It's, 
it's the and the, and the thing about it is too is that straw like law i had a feeling law is gonna be like they're trying to ruin the plan but luke but honestly luffy's making sense right now the plan who gives a fuck about the plan right now yeah if i beat him fuck the plan <laughs> Essentially, but, the, what, but again, what, I see what you mean by him making sense, but at the same time, he's not making sense because it's fucking Kaido. No, but I'm saying like it makes sense in the sense of the fact that Law is saying like this will ruin the plan. Technically, it won't because it's because Kaido still doesn't know that his crew is there, right? I'm, I'm assuming. I'm assuming if he's smart enough, he realize that you know, like You'd what, think, what Captain, hey, Straw Hats here, the fucking rest of the crew probably is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, no captain would be stupid enough not to realize that. Okay, the captain's here. His crew mm-hmm. will be so far behind, but he's drunk right now, right? So yeah, still, you have to keep that in mind. Like he's drunk. He only heard. Oh, Law and Luffy oh, are there. Man, I'm just so like I feel like if <clears throat> Luffy is sort of sacrificing himself here, although he wasn't made with me to do that, but Luffy getting one shot here actually worked in their favor because now he won't look for the crew unless. No. Yes. Okay. So where do we go from here? What happens from here, in your opinion? Bro, I don't know. Luffy has to get saved. Either uh, that he gets captured. So legitimate. Here's my legitimate, legitimate guess. Here, okay. Law, like the smart person, is gonna immediately shambles the fuck out of there, as you do. <laughs> <laughs> Law, you know he's gonna fuck first out. fucking panel next chapter. Mark my words. Like, oh, I gotta do a good pop noise. Hold on. He's just gonna be like, room. <laughs> like, just, I'm out. <laughs> you know, and I think I think Law's gonna be smart. He's gonna fucking raid out and, and maybe reconvene with his crew, the Straw Hats, assuming they're all alive. What's gonna happen with Luffy? Luffy's gonna be the sacrificial lamb here. Luffy's going to be taken to the same cage that Eustace motherfucking kid is. I guarantee it. <laughs> And this will lead, my friend, to the, to reuni- the-, the reunion of Eustace Kid um, and the- Monkey D. Luffy. And as people have pointed out on the Reddit, which is a, this is a good point. Do you remember back at S- Saba Odi when the um, the fucking worst generation came together? Who mm-hmm. were the main three causing shit back then? Law, mm-hmm. Eustace, mm-hmm. and Luffy. There's going to be a, re- a reunion between these three. And they're going to spearhead the operation against Kaido, I can almost guarantee it. So I think that what's happening here, this is a way for Luffy to be thrown in the same cell that Kid is. And then we're going to have Kid and Luffy come up with a plan to escape prison. Uh, It might be a little mini impel down situation, (laughs) but it's escape Kaido's bullshit. It's just, this is is insane. Like, Oda, 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 Oda. My nigga Oda is going out the stops, man. Oda I is not love playing. it that he's going this hard. Oda is like, fuck what you thought about One Piece. This is how you fucking. I, I still take it over. Fine thunder. I can't wait for the better translation for manga stream. What the fuck that shit says? <laughs> Divine thunder, <laughs> bro. Oh my god. Uh... My new Divine thunder. <laughs> I guess it's just, yeah no no but like seriously though this fight is not continuing from here because everyone everyone dies if that's the case so like I said law is gonna fucking shambles out of it, <clears throat> as you do that's why I think I think Luffy's gonna be taken to the cage and from there we're gonna figure out what's happening my biggest question in all of this is where is Zoro what is he up to <laughs> Zoro is going to <laughs> Zoro <laughs> The Zoro's getting ready to hand Kaido his L, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bruh. Yeah, you know, Zoro just sh- shows up next chapter. And you're like, you, <laughs> you beat my captain. <laughs> you be prepared for the L. Zoro's going to take control of the Straw Hat crew. Do, do, bro, please, can that happen? Can that please Zoro happen? Zoro is the new captain of the Straw Hat. Can you imagine bro? how efficient the crew would be? Other than, like, he can't be the one giving directions, of course. But other than that, Zoro giving orders, I think, would actually be pretty good. Because <laughs> you remember at the end of Dressrosa? Oh, uh, not end. Middle of Dressrosa, when Sanji bailed. He was temporarily the captain of the Straw Hats. And then he called it, like, the Twirly Brow Pirates for a second. You remember? <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what would it be for Zoro? It's the moss head. <laughs> the moss the, head the, pirates. The, the, the sword hats. <clears throat> Instead of straw hats, should play straw with sword, sword hats, pirates. I was trying to figure out a way to incorporate like whole like like handing out L's into a pirate crew name, <laughs> but I can't think of it. <laughs> Man, Oda's hyping up Zoro to be the MVP of the show. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, we have a running joke here. If you're not, if you can't tell, where we make fun of the uh, Zoro fanboys that go overboard. Uh, so Zoro <laughs> fanboys be like, "Yeah, okay, he beat Luffy, but where's Zoro?" <laughs> Zoro's about to come in like surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> surprise, surprise, motherfucker! Oh, and I do kind of like too. One of the other lines I wanted to bring up was that Luffy was like. Man, we you know we got me, we got you, we got the samurai, we got my crew and your crew. Assuming they're still alive, let's beat them right now. <laughs> uh, and you know, I mean, fair. That is a lot of numbers, and it's good that you have confidence in your crew, Luffy, because you have been, you guys have been through a lot. Fair, but it's motherfucking Kaido. <laughs> I think I think you uh, misread what he was saying. He says, "If I beat him up now, this plan will be finished. Kiyomon's allies and my crew, as well as yours, we don't even know if they're safe." Let me let me go back. <clears throat> Law's, Law's like, well, he's fucking right. <clears throat> he didn't say that. I probably he didn't say read that. it too fast. I may maybe I may have channeled a bit of your speed in the hype. <clears throat> but Law, but, but looking at Law's face, I love that because Law's like Luffy's making sense right now. Like, uh, yeah, because we don't even know. If... So, like, thanks I'm... to Hawkins over here, snitching Hawkins over here. <laughs> Snitching Hawking, that's his new fucking name. <laughs> Snitching Hawking, you know. Dude, I am exhausted. Th- that chapter drained me. <laughs> okay, um, that, yeah, you know my we, we predictions. Holy we shit. Don't, we don't even need predictions right here. Kaido, Kaido you know, wins. The series is game. over, clearly. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> it's it's time to focus on Curry now. What if Oda did just end it like there? Like, like what if like we we're, we're ready for the next chapter and then just nothing comes out and then he's and then they're, they're like Oda, what's up? And he's like, no, it's over. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't yeah. I didn't say anything. I thought it was obvious that it was over. <laughs> Bro, I mean, yeah. like all the Straw Hats are dead. The only surviving one, the, the surviving Straw Hats are now Zoro, Frankie, Usopp, and Robin. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> oh <laughs> man that is crazy that is, that is so funny yeah oh my god so yeah i i would actually love it if oda did something where he like he kind of puts luffy on the sidelines for a bit and lets like the crew kind of handle it i would love a thing where it's like all right the crew's gonna handle it now like luffy fucked up as he does time for the crew to handle it. and i hope luffy learns from this i really do because luffy I don't know if he's been one-shotted very often in his life. Can't feel good. He's been handed the biggest, shiniest L on the biggest silver platter he could possibly be handed. That L just presented to him. Is he going to learn from it? Probably. Oof. My God. I cannot wait for King of Lightning's reaction to this. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm telling you right now. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to predict King of Lightning's reaction right now. He's going to be mad for 90% of the chapter. Because he's going to be mad that, like... Because it, it, it looked like Kaido was actually getting hit. So he's going to be pissed for 90% of the chapter until the very end. And then he'll be like... <laughs> I don't know if people were... A lot of people were like, watch, why is... Why is... Oh, <clears throat> why is... And then they read a chapter like, oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, so my personal thought... Pro- my head canon on this is he lets himself get hit. Like, he didn't hockey up at all. He didn't, like, try to protect himself. He wants to die. He very, you know, He's someone that's like, oh, please, maybe this attack will fucking hurt me. Nope. Okay. You know what I mean? So I think he just let Luffy have his fucking unloading. And he was like, well... Because, uh, I mean, you see it. Like, I knew what was happening the second he stood up and sighed. It was like, oh, I see. I see what's going on now. You know, that was, that was kind of being like... Huh, that was nothing to, you know? And now all of a sudden, Big Mom calling him a monster makes so much sense. Big Mom is like, you think you can beat that fucking monster? Like, 
Look at this thing. Bro, 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 Big Mom is still coming. Like, what yeah. is like, all right. Big Mom like, all right, Kaido, you, you, you want to shot at him, now it's my turn. <laughs> That's true. That, yeah. Oh my god! Like, how's that gonna fit in? Because if Luffy, if my if my theory is right, and Luffy's gonna be taken to uh, the dungeon, as it were, is Big Mom gonna come in and be like, "All right, we gotta fucking, we gotta decide who's getting Luffy. You got him. I want him. What's happening here? You know." So that'll be interesting. See, because it's it's crazy. Because like, oh, I just I I, I I'd be I'd be talking about it forever if I don't shut the fuck up now. So amazing chapter. Final thoughts at all, Thurman? None. Oh. It's too good. We'll have to see what happens next. Oh, Oda, oh, thank you. you. Thank you for gracing us. So beautiful. Peace. Peace.